بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدس على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما نؤمن له بالربوبية ونقر له بالعبودية من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المقصومين والأخيار من صحابته المنتجبين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال تعالى في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تسب الذين يدعون من دون الله فيسب الله عدوا بغير علم كذلك زينا لكل أمة عملهم ثم إلى ربهم مرجعهم فينبئهم بما كانوا يعملون بما كنتم تعملون صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد One of the questions that are frequently asked is are we allowed to curse to curse others to curse those that we don't like is cursing <clears throat> allowed in the islamic tradition some people say yes they are pro cursing and some people say no it is not allowed, it's illegitimate to curse. So where is the answer? The answer is found in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran, although the Holy Quran does mention cursing, we will examine it. But then we have to see what is the difference between cursing and swearing, there is a difference. People get confused between the two. Cursing is al-la'n. Al-la'n huwa al-tardu min rahmatillah. Al-la'n or cursing is a form of prayers. It is a prayers. It is petitioning to God to deprive the mal'oon, someone that you pray against him, from his mercy, period. This is the meaning of cursing. That God may never embrace him or her or them in his mercy, in his compassion. This is the religious meaning of la'am, cursing. This is the Qur'anic meaning of cursing or la'am. While Seth is something totally different. Seb has nothing to do with Lam. It is not synonymous. Some people say they are synonymous. They are not. They are not synonymous. A Seb is in English is swearing or verbal insult, verbal abuse, bad mouthing. These things they make the word Seb. Seb is unacceptable. 
and we will come to them from a Quranic perspective. Regarding Lahm, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the three chapters in Surah Al Baqarah, Surah Al Ra'd, and Surah Muhammad. In Surah Al Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Those who conceal the signs, those who choose to conceal the truth after we send the truth, we explain the truth to the people, to the masses, some people choose to conceal it, to hide it for their own narrow interests, for their material interests. Such people, like a scholar who knows the truth, but he conceals it, he conceals the truth because he doesn't want to lose his job. And we have many of those imams and scholars. He does not want to lose his community, his masjid, his salary, his position with the government, so they don't speak the truth. Such people, Allah says, أُولَٰئِكَ يَلْعَنُهُمُ Allah. Such people, God curse them. And the community of the believer would curse them. So this is number one. God curses them, it means God would never embrace them, include them in His mercy. This is the meaning of cursing. The second verse in Surah al -Rad, وَالَّذِينَ يَنْقُضُونَ عَهْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِيثَاقِهِ وَيَقْطَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُوصَلْ وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ Those commit three crimes. Number one, they break, they violate the covenant that they made with God. وَيَقْطَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ And they disconnect with their extended family members. أَطْعُ الرَّحْمِ They disconnect with them. وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And they commit mischief in the land, if sad, corruption in the land, in the community, in the society. The curse is directed towards those people. On the day of judgment, they have an evil abode. This is the second verse. The third verse in Surah Al- in Surah Muhammad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَهَلْ عَسَيْتُمْ إِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ أَن تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَتُقَطْعُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ When you become in charge in a community, when you become in charge of a community, of a country, of a society, you become a leader, then when you commit mischief in the land, and this is, an example of that, we have thousands of examples in Muslim countries. The caliphs, the emirs, who become in charge of the Muslim community by force, by you know, violence, by killing, by intimidation, and then they start spreading their corruption, their mischief, their evil. What? in and tufsidu fil Again, those are this emir, this leader who, a self-appointed emir, he considers himself representing the prophet, the caliph to the prophet, who spreads mischief and violence and facade in the land, God curses them. They are completely misguided, blind and deaf. They don't hear the truth, they don't see the truth. So cursing in this context, Allah, meaning of Allah is that someone has been excluded from God's mercy, has been mentioned in the Quran, we have it, and Allah is the first one who does la'an himself in this context. Now, we come to something called as-sab, which I explained earlier, a few minutes ago. As-sab is the swearing or 
insulting, verbal insult, verbal abuse, bad mouthing the people. As Sab has no room in Islam, in the Islamic literature, in the Islamic society, in the Islamic behavior, not only it has no room, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids us from practicing Sab. And please, you have to distinguish between La'an and Sab. There is a big difference between them. Don't get them confused. Allah, as I said so many times, this is a form of a prayer, dua. Dua. Allah says, those people are not part of my mercy. So you are allowed to do la'an. But said, Allah says, don't do that. And this is in Surah Al-An'am, verse 108. Allah says to the Muslim community, Muslim community, that are surrounded by others, by enemies, by pagans, by idol worshippers, Allah says, don't swear at them. Not don't curse them, don't swear at them. وَلَا تَسُبُّ وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Do not verbally insult them or hurt them. Don't do that. Why? فَيَسُبُّ اللَّهَ عَدْوًا بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ out of ignorance and posterity, they're going to, 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 to swear at your Lord, at Allah. They're going to hit back you. You swear at their idols, Aslam, they're going to swear at your Lord out of ignorance. So don't do that. Do not provoke them. Do not stir this tension up between you and them. And also, we have in the hadith, Amir al-Mu'mineen, alayhi salatu wa salam, alayhi yubna abi qan. He states to his followers, some of his followers during the unfortunate battle of Safin that was waged against Imam Ali, in the same area that ISIS are waging war against Muslims in Iraq, in the same province, exactly the same area, the same soil. 1500 years ago, there was a battle between falsehood, represented in Muawiyah, Abi Sufyan, and truth and justice, represented by Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salatu wassalam. He said to them, to his friends and his soldiers and his companions, something that we have to implement in our daily life. We have to learn from Ali ibn Abi Talib. He said to them, Inni akrahu lakum an I hate to see my companions being bad mouthers. They bad mouth others. I don't like to see you being low class, insulting others hurting others verbally. I don't want to see you using your mouth, saying bad things, or swearing at people. Walakin, on the other hand, I don't want you to curse or, or to, to swear. Walakin Say to people what they do. Describe and tell the people the behavior of your enemies, what they do. And tell the people about their condition, about their atrocities, about their violations. It is more articulate and more convincing. More convincing. When you are polite, but you are firm, you speak the truth. You are polite. You have a strong case here. But if you are not polite, you're going to lose your case even if the truth is with you. You're going to lose. So Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wassalam says, I want you to tell the people, explain to them what they did. Their atrocities, their violations, their crimes against the humanity, against Islam. But don't swear at them. Once you swear, you lose your case. This is the strategy of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib. 
Now, what I say is that even if we don't have a verse in the Quran forbidding us from cursing, even if we don't have this hadith of Imam Ali alayhi salam, let me ask you this. Does swearing, is a swearing compatible with the character of a good believer, good mu'min, good Muslim? Is it compatible? Does it go along with the character of a good believer where Allah fills his heart with faith? Definitely it's not. Definitely it's not. It's not the character of a good, a good believer to swear. It's not the character of a good believer to use his mouth to abuse others. I always say when we have the best argument, why do we need to swear at others? Those who are morally bankrupt, ideologically bankrupt, they use a swearing. You can watch them on television. Day and night, they swear at Ahlul Bayt and the Shia and this and that. We are not bankrupt, we are rich, alhamdulillah. We are very rich. And if we know how to approach others, we have the best argument and we have the best dalil. Yeah, the dalil, the evidence, the proof is this book, the Holy Quran. We have it. We can prove that we are right only from this book. We don't need to use other sources. So when Allah has given us this ability, we don't have to swear. إِنَّكُمْ لَن تَسَعُ النَّاسَ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ يَقُولُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ إِنَّكُمْ لَن تَسَعُ النَّاسَ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ You would not be able to accommodate or attract people with your money فَسَعُوهُمْ بِأَخْلَاقِكُمْ Therefore, you have to attract them, accommodate them, receive them with your akhlaq, with your money. And this is exactly what he did. Rasulullah was able to attract the humanity to Islam through his akhlaq, his manners, his tolerance. وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين